Welcome back to Showboys Gaming and our guide for the Great Shinobi Owl. Now I understand that I say this going into uh, every boss guide that I've done in the past couple days, but this is definitely going to be the most difficult boss that you have faced so far. He is really, honestly, probably top five uh, most difficult bosses in the game. However, once you learn, uh, you know, his, his move set, he becomes far easier, obviously, right? That's what this game is about, is learning their moveset, learning their tells, learning what to do and what not to do. So going into this fight, we want to have our shurikens equipped, as well as our Ichimanji double. Moving into the item area, obviously, we want as many healing items as we can here. This is a good spot to use your Divine Grass if you've been um, holding off on it, as well as your rice. So, um, you know, we do have some sweet rice balls here that we got from Kuro during our walkthrough. We also have our normal rice from the Divine Child. So moving into the fight, if you uh, have used this, you need to go back prior to the fight and get another handful of rice from the Divine Child. It will definitely, definitely help you. As well as the bundled Jizu statue, which is, uh, if you've been hoarding them up until this point, this is a good spot to at least use one of them. Uh, the way these work is it restores a node of resurrective power. So those little circles that we see down in the corner here, here, one of those you get from resting, and uh, the other two you get from killing enemies. So if you die during this fight and end up getting the death blow on him to get rid of the strike across those, that black mark across it, you can use the bundled Jizu statue to fill up one of those bars instantly if you do not have... Uh, it filled up. But that being said, I would highly recommend that you do some farming going into this if you do not have those filled up because this is probably going to be the fight that uh, we use those. As far as his attacks go, he's a uh, he's got kind of slow sweeping attacks but they also, uh, they also come in fast. So it's not, I don't want to say it's similar to the true, or the Corrupted Monk, but it's the same kind of gist. He's got a very big sword, long sweeping attacks, but he is also very agile. Um, he's going to have multiple different attacks that you can deflect. So you just need to get the timing down on those deflects. And I know it can be frustrating fighting this guy, trust me. Just like in Ichiro, I struggled uh, a great deal with this guy. But we shouldn't be backing out or getting frustrated if we die because we're learning a little bit each time, each time that we fight him. Even if we are dying, we're learning a bit. So uh, other attacks, he does have a three-hit combo where it will be two deflects and then he'll throw out firecrackers and use his sword to light it. So for that attack, it's going to be two deflects and then as soon as his sword's about to hit the firecrackers. We're going to dodge straight towards him to the left and then hit him with Ichimanji double. Um, on top of that, he does use shurikens throughout the fight. He's got a single shuriken with a huge sweep attack that he comes in. Not perilous, so just uh, deflect the shuriken, deflect the sword. And then we're going to be using the shurikens to make sure that we stay up on him. So if you have not gotten the skill Chasing Strike, I think it's called Chasing Slice. Um, again, if you were watching the uh, playthrough, uh, the walkthrough that we're doing for this, uh, you should already have this. This was recommended earlier. But basically, it allows you to use a prosthetic tool and then follow it up with a Chasing Slice. So very handy for getting up in his face and staying on him and staying aggressive. He also has a... Uh, two shuriken and a huge jump that he does for that again it's just going to be deflect the two shurikens and deflect the jump slice that he does and then on top of all of that for the first phase he also has uh little bombs that he throws out to you that prevent you from healing if you get stuck in their cloud 
Uh, these need to be avoided at all costs. You'll see it's uh, very obvious when he's about to use them. And then phase two, uh, things get a little bit more hectic. So that jumping, uh, jumping back and throwing shurikens that I discussed earlier, that's now going to be poison that he throws at you. Uh, so we want to be mindful of that and not get caught in the poison. He also has like a uh, smoke disappear ability where he throws smoke on the ground and it breaks your lock on with him and then he comes and attacks you. As soon as you see him do that, you need to run backwards and try to relocate him and lock back on to him. But, I mean, here, I'm, I'm going to be honest. I'm not, I'm not necessarily the best at fighting this dude. I know in the playthrough... We did it first try, um, but let's just be mindful that this is this is the you know this is kind of your big coming from Dark Souls. This is your big get good moment in this game, for sure. Uh, on top of other items that would be very useful, we're also going to put on mottled green gourd in case we, or I'm sorry, green mossy gourd in case we get caught by his um, poison. And let's move on in and see if we can take this dude down. So right at the beginning of the fight, obviously we want to lock on and we want to stay fairly aggressive on this guy um, as much as possible. Like every other boss or enemy in the game, we want to watch for his bright flash showing us that he's deflected our attack. Here's his two shurikens and jump right out the gate. There's his jumping shuriken, and here's his bomb. So we want to want run away from that. If you get caught in that, it's actually a decently long amount of time that you can't heal. So you need to be mindful of that. Anytime he jumps back, I like using the chasing strike. Here's his two and jump again. He likes using that quite a bit. So right there is just two strikes and then a quick two strikes uh, for a deflect. Here's his, um, oops, messed it up there. There's the firecrackers I was talking about. Anytime you need to heal, wait for him to do an attack before you actually pull out your heal. There's his bomb. Again, run away, that cloud. Uh, there's that chasing strike that he does. Same skill that we have. Here's the dodge deflect and then Ichimanji. So two deflects and a dodge through his firecrackers there. And if you see, uh, that thing hit me and it did a great deal of damage to me. So you want to be getting your timing down on the firecracker deflect. And you see that uh, we've barely done any damage to him or, uh, or posture damage. This guy is very beefy. So... Again, if you can get him in the corner here, it does help. Dodge through and Ichimanji him again. Uh, you can use Empowered Mortal Draw there. Um, it does do a great deal of damage on, uh, and uh, just regular Mortal Draw. But I like using the Spirit Emblems to keep the pace of the fight. So get the Chasing Strike. So that's why I don't use that there. Dodge. So... You, uh, you try out both strategies and see uh, which one you uh, think works best for you. The Mortal Draw does do some decent damage to him, but it does use Spirit Emblems, so... That will be Phase 1, and at the start of Phase 2, we want to back off here, because he will knock us down with this giant thing here. And then he's going to act like a little innocent old man. Um... However, if you get close to him or try to attack him, he is going to uh, he's going to call you out for being an idiot. So, as you see there, there's his smoke attack that I was talking about. But as far as the phase goes, we want to stay the exact same as far as aggressiveness on him here. There's his smoking attack. You see, we want to run away backwards and relocate him. And then he usually comes up and tries to throw a healing bomb on you, so be mindful of that again stay in on him for those for those uh, firecrackers there we just want to run backwards so 
So it's just one, two, one, two. Real quick like that on that four hit combo that he does. And really screwed that up there. That was the same attack in the first phase. Oh my goodness. So let him throw his little healing bomb and get away and heal. There's his poison. If that starts building up on you, um, use your mossy gourd to uh, negate it. And that cloud stays there for a while, so try not to uh, uh, get into a fight with him there. There's his smoke attack. Again, running away. Good time to heal when he throws the healing bomb. You see his attacks are basically the same. But you want to be mindful of your posture here, because if he breaks your posture, he's going to do a great deal of damage to you. So it's not a bad idea to separate yourself and try and let it go down a little bit. If he hits you with that, he's going to send you back, because um, it's such a powerful strike. But it's really the exact same as phase one as far as what we're trying to do here. Sometimes he does do the chasing strike before he uh, hits you with the shuriken. Run away from the poison. Again, long fight, man. Long, long fight. But, you know, just follow what I'm doing here and you'll be all right. You know, we have died once, um, unfortunately, but... Again, it's hard to see him sometimes, but he's typically always going to do uh, that. Uh -oh. oh man, I thought I was going to get hit by that. This one here, it, you can de uh, deflect the shurikens, but you can also get behind him for some nice easy damage when he does that attack. See, we are slowly, slowly getting there. Here's that chasing strike that we can circle behind and punish. Uh, that's how I like doing that one. Uh, you don't want him to pull that off, uh, even though we're really kind of doing a health takedown on him here. Uh, you know, we don't want to make this fight longer than possible. So he does have the same thing that the generals have, where they can lower their posture. Again, stay away from the poison. Get your heals off when you can. We are very close health-wise to getting him here. Oh boy. He does have a kind of uh, grab attack where he steps on you there if he breaks your posture. So be mindful of that. Wait for uh, an attack so you can get some time to heal. Just a long fight, man. Like, there are definitely cheese strategies if that's uh, what you're into. Uh, however, we know from the playthrough, there's only certain bosses I like doing those strategies on. Um, the, the kind of sword enemies, I like learning their fights because, you know... Even though this is one of the most difficult fights in the game, it's very, very fun to, uh, to figure him out. And dodge through for Ichimanji, and the second phase is complete. So again, uh, you know, just follow the strategy that I did for each attack there. And again, like I said, I'm, I, I consider myself decently good at this game, and he still got me. Uh, so you're, de you're definitely going to die here a couple times. Um as you're learning the timing for his deflects and uh, you know when to dodge, when to deflect, when to run away, all that stuff. Just make sure in the second phase, um, instead of doing the jump backwards and shuriken that you can deflect, it changes to the poison. So instead of deflecting, we need to run away. But that will take down Great Shinobi Al. Definitely the most difficult boss that we have faced so far, and it's only going to get more difficult from here on out. So uh, 
stick with us here on Showboys Gaming if you're struggling with the bosses. I hope these guides are helping out. Uh, like I said, I'm not really trying to re recommend any cheese strategies, although, uh, you know, a couple of the strategies that I have recommended could be considered a cheese strategy. But, um, we definitely want to learn how to fight these guys, because uh, this is, honestly, man, this is like one of the best fights in the game. And it's super fun to do. And, uh, you know, you get a pretty stunning little view when you're done. Same place as we uh, fought Genichiro at, but we got the sun setting over in the distance there. So, so for now, that will do it for us here today. Uh, we will continue with our walkthrough here on Showboys Gaming, as well as boss guides for every boss in the game. So look forward to that, and I will see you guys on the next one.